He has been described as the world's most dominant athlete, knocking out barriers and setting records. In her new memoir, Our Fight, UFC and WWE champion Ronda Rousey chronicles her journey to the top and back from her lowest point as she reflects on the losses and the lessons experienced along the way. And joining us now is UFC Hall of Famer Ronda Rousey. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for having me and for such a kind introduction. Oh, no, it, it is a pleasure. And I read a lot of this book over the weekend. I was I was gripped by it. Um, you are already a best-selling author. You have dabbled in acting. You are obviously a Hall of Famer. What made you want to come out and write this book now? I know you say you want it to be in your own words. Yeah, I just had so many things I, I couldn't talk about until now, namely my concussion history, where in my judo career, out of like 10 years, I had concussion symptoms more often than not. This was before all the research about CTE and everything was out. And so by the time that I got into you know MMA, every time you get a concussion, it's easier to get another one. And uh, I quickly discovered in MMA any kind of significant strike I'd be seeing stars getting concussion symptoms, so I had to develop a system of fighting that was more efficient than anything that had ever been seen before, so I would not get not get touched at all because I, I just knew I couldn't take that kind of damage. And um, it just continued to, to get worse and worse. You know, I, uh, I had matches that I was winning in less than a minute, you know, 16, 14 seconds, but there's 50 rounds of sparring that goes into every one of those matches. And... Um, it started to get to the point where like the lightest jabs or touches were, were giving me concussion symptoms. And then um, it all came to a head uh, right before the home fight. I slipped down some stairs, knocked myself out, tore out my knee, went into that, that, um, that match already concussed and uh, had had the wrong mouth guard. It was like the mm -hmm. terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. Confluence of bad factors, yeah. Yeah, my mouth guard didn't have like a back to the bottom teeth and the first time I got touched, all, like, my, all my bottom teeth got knocked loose and I was, um, I was completely out of, on my feet and concussed and um, I basically like, I, it's hard to describe what it's like. It's like you have photo vision, like someone just took a picture of you, like there's big splotches in your vision and like the world is like two dimensional, like you can't, see distance between things and so um the whole fight i was just trying to make come forward because i can't really go backward do you feel like your industry took the concussion seriously enough at the time um i think they did so much so that i didn't want to say anything to my my coach or dana about it because i thought they would make me stop and I, I wasn't ready to stop. I thought I could just continue to be perfect forever, that I could continue to win without being touched forever. One of the things that is so touching about this book is your vulnerability. You see this beautiful picture of you on the back of your book with your daughter in an embrace. How has motherhood changed this chapter of your life? Um, it's just changed my perspective on so many things and so many frivolous things that I would uh, let myself be consumed with. Um, it's She doesn't let me, and she puts in perspective what, what's really important, and, and that's her. And it's hard for me to, like, ruminate and dwell on things when I'm getting, like, puked on and getting my hair pulled. <laughs> and also, like, the cutest thing I've ever seen is happening in front of me at the same time. So she, she forces me to, to be in the present, which is what I... Uh, I, I learned is what I need to appreciate the most. It seems like nature has such a central role for you in healing. I know that in the book you talk about how your husband whisked you away to a campsite when you were at your lowest point. So has farming sort of brought out um, some resilience in you and a different side of you? Uh, I think it's just uh, it's something that's self-validating. And um, it, it, it makes me happy without anyone having to see it and appreciate it. And it's nothing that I'm, I feel like I'm pandering to anyone or trying to impress anyone. I'm just trying to make these, these animals day a little bit better, their, their lives better and give them a life worth living and, you know, feed my family and help the, the land that they're on. And it's just a, a virtuous circle where, you know, it's um, just the act in itself is a reward. I can't let you go without asking what comes next. Now you have two books, you're a multi-hyphenate and in so many industries, what's next? Oh, God. Uh, well, we get into it in the book a little bit because I, I wrote this and the first one uh, with my sister. I've gotten like a, more into creative writing and stuff like that. So I started writing like screenplays just for fun. My, my mom would write um, fantasy novels as a hobby when, since forever and would give them to us to read. And it was such like a fascinating, fascinating insight into her. And you read that and you're like, oh, my God, this is so mom. And so um, 
I've started writing a lot creatively. I'm an intern at the WME uh, story department where I like read and write coverages of scripts and things. And my first comic book is coming out soon. And uh, it's just stuff that I really enjoy and I'm a big nerd for. And it's not something to, to impress anybody, but the act in itself is so rewarding for me. So I do it. Well, thank you so much. You're such a beacon of strength for so many out there. Ronda Rousey's book, Our Fight, her memoir is out tomorrow. I suggest you go and get it. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.